When you think of a cure for HIV, it's important to define what you mean by a cure. If you take as a definition that a cure means someone is without disease activity, namely the virus is not replicating, but they do not require medication. So a cure would mean that someone who goes into remission, they don't require uh, uh, antiviral drugs. Today, the state of the art is that when you go on antivirals, even if they're highly successful, in suppressing the virus, you have to take that drug, those combination of drugs, for the rest of your life. A cure would mean either a true eradication cure, which would be very difficult, or what we call a functional cure. An eradication cure means you actually get rid of and excise out all the latent virus that seems to be hiding in certain cells, what we call the reservoir. We don't have the drugs today that are capable of eliminating that reservoir. We have drugs that work beautifully in suppressing virus replication, but they don't eliminate the virus from the body. The challenge and the goal is to develop a new class of drugs that might be able to do that. We don't have a guarantee that we'll be successful, but we're trying. The functional cure means you suppress the virus to such a low level that you come in either with a, um, uh, an immune enhancer where you build up the body's immune system to control it, or you do something like gene therapy where you put cells in that are actually refractory to infection with the virus. So two separate limbs of one concept, a cure. This is aspirational. We're trying for it, but there's no guarantee we're going to get there.